Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to convert a string to a float or integer so guys this python program will help you to convert a string to the integer or float values using the int and float methods which are used as a prefix methods with the parameter that is the string data type so guys we are going to check all these with the help of examples as well so first of all we will see converting a string into the integer data type so let us move to the vs code over here so the very first thing is let's say we have a string variable that is the str and then the data that we want to provide is 1500 so guys let's say this 1500 is the value that is the number but it is of the string data type because we have enclosed it within the double quotes over here so what we will do is first of all we will print the statement that is the str data type over here so str data type colon and then comma we can simply have the type method in order to get the type of the str so inside the type method we provide the parameter that is str in order to get the type of this str variable so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see str data type it says class str over here that is a string data type now guys let's say we want to convert it into the integer data type so what we will do is simply let's say we have the str followed by underscore and then we will say int in this case so that we can identify that str int variable must be of the integer data type so what we can simply do is we can use the int method over here as a prefix so over here we can have the int method it will take the parameter and this parameter will be this str variable which means we are passing this string over here so simply i'll copy this and paste this over here so basically this string that is str variable is being passed as a parameter to this int variable now guys this string that is 1500 will be stored as the integer into this str int in this case so let us check the data type of this str int variable as well so we have print statement followed by str underscore int and then we can simply have data type over here colon and then this time we will have the type method and inside this we will provide str int in this case so that we get the type of this str int variable so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see str int data type it is of the class int data type in this case which means it is an integer now now guys what is the difference over here we have the 1500 as the value which is the string value and then over here in the str int we are having it as a number in this case so let us check what is the difference what we will do is simply we will have the print statement and then we have str and then this time we will do plus one over here so we are just having the plus operator over here but this is the str variable which means it is of the string data type and we are adding one to it so over here it should do string concatenation which will give us the result as one five zero zero one in this case but what if we add one to the integer data type so over here let's say we have another print statement and this time we will be using the str underscore int and then plus and then one over here so guys what this will do is since it is having 1500 as a number value that is the integer value it will add plus one which means it will give us the result as 1501 this time so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so we are getting the error can only concatenate str not int to str so over here what we can do is simply enclose this one inside the double quotes over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we are getting 15001 over here which is of the string data data type in this case but we are getting 1501 for the second case where we have added one to the integer data type over here so guys this is the difference between the integer and the string whenever we are using the plus operator in case of string it is doing the concatenation whereas in case of the integer it is adding the two numbers over here now guys what if we have a decimal number inside this double quotes so over here let's say we have 0 0.04 in this case so what will be the result so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see it is saying invalid literal for int with base 10 so guys in this case what we can do is we can convert the string into the float we can also convert the string float numeral 
two integer over here so guys basically we can first convert the string to the float number and then to the integer as well so first of all we will check the second approach in this case what we can do is simply so i'll just remove these lines of code over here and then i'll comment out these lines in this case and then we can have another variable that is str followed by underscore and then we have float and then guys similarly how we had used the int function we can use the float function over here as well in order to convert the string to the float so we provide str as the parameter and then we can have the data type of this str float in this case so over here str and then followed by underscore float data type it is and then we say type and then str float in this case so that we get the data type of this str float so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see str float data type it is of the data type float and then guys we can also print the value so we say end value is and then followed by comma and then simply we can have str float in this case so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got the value as 1500.04 this time now guys we can also convert this float number into the integer as well just by using the int function in this case before the string float so i'll just provide the int function inside this print function itself so over here we have used the int function while printing the str float in this case so instead of 1500.04 we should simply get 1500 this time because we are converting it into the integer value so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have got str float data type the data type will be float only but then we are converting it into the integer while printing it so that is why we have got the value as 1500 this time so guys these are certain ways in order to convert the string data type to the integer and the float data type now guys it becomes very important when we are taking the input from the user so let's say instead of this fixed number over here we provide the input function and then we ask the user to enter the number so basically when the user enters any number over here it will be of the string data type which we can convert by using the int or the float function over here just like how we have seen in the examples so guys let us save this file now and try running this code once you will be able to see what will be the str data type over here once the user enters any data over here so when the user is being asked to enter the number let's say we provide 1400.45 as the number when we press enter as you can see str data type is of the string data type over here so whatever data is being provided by the user it is of the string data type now str float it will be of the float data type that's because we have converted that string into the float and then the value it will be of the integer data type that's because we have converted that float value to the integer value over here so guys this is a way that the string that was entered by the user can be converted into the float or the integer values as well which becomes very important whenever you are writing the python programs so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to get a substring of a string so stay tuned